Hey there, it's Scott. And Lane. In this episode of the Sack and Stone Team show, as we round the corner to the holidays, we wanted to showcase one of the local businesses and charitable organizations that's true to our hearts at the Sack and Stone Team, and that's the Assistance League Huntington Beach. Set on an unassuming corner in a corporate building at the corner of Beach and Slater, we thought it was high time to give you more information and a sneak behind the scenes look at this fantastic community organization. That's exactly right. We got to go behind the scenes and interview the president of Assistance League Huntington Beach as well as the store manager. And so hopefully our interview and our behind the scenes look will inspire you to either be a customer or uh, maybe encourage you to be a volunteer here at the Assistance League Huntington Beach. And we hope that you enjoy. Since 1988, I have had one passion only. That is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone team will always be cutting edge. Hi there. I'm with our current president, Chris Vollmer of the Assistance League Huntington Beach. And I'd like for you to tell me, Chris, a little bit about the Assistance League. Well, we're a group of over 300 retired women. Some of us are still working, working very hard to make money for our community. That's awesome. Last year, we gave away over a million dollars. That's amazing. You know, I've been fortunate enough to be on the advisory council of this great organization and meet so many of these wonderful volunteers. What's a little bit of the background of your volunteers? A lot of them come from executive positions, some of them decorating, some of them homemakers that stayed home with their kids. One of my favorite reasons for people volunteering is their husband retired and they wanted to get out of the house. <laughs> Touche. Or they've retired and they want to still give back to the community. That's terrific. Speaking of giving back to the community, tell me about some of the programs and exactly what you ladies do here. Our biggest Operation School Bell, we dress over close to 3,000 kids during the year at a Target uh -huh. in Westminster or in Huntington Beach. That's terrific. You know, I've been fortunate enough to volunteer at one of those events and the smiles on these children and youth's faces when they're checking out and buying school supplies and clothes, you can just see a new sense of identity and pride with them. Because we're building self-worth and a feeling of self-esteem and helping them for education because when they feel good about themselves, it's easier to go to school. That's fabulous. Anything else you can tell me about? I think you've got a big fundraiser during the year, which oh, raises do. amazing amounts of money. It's called Treasures by the Sea, and this year it's April 30th. No, March 30th. And last yeah, year it was in April, I'm sorry. Yeah. And we're expecting about 600 people to attend, and we have amazing things. We have uh, top quality items from our thrift store, and we have opportunities for drawings and trips and I think this year we have the blimp even oh as one gosh. of our well, auction uh, items. These ladies are master merchandisers. It's an event not to be missed. She's being very shy about it. It's held in a, a local hotel here. It's a fabulous luncheon but then one of the big rooms is taken over with all of the best of the best from their thrift shop and they've saved it and I know people save up and can't wait for this event. It's a shopping extravaganza but I'm sure Lane, our other Sack and Stone team member, is going to be talking to the manager of your shop and going over that because your thrift shop raises a lot of money as well. Right. And between the fundraisers, grants, and the thrift shop, we gave back over a million dollars to the communities of Westminster, Fountain Valley, and Huntington uh, Beach. Fabulous. I think that's a great way to end our portion of the interview. And I Thank want to say you. congratulations to you for raising that kind of money and giving back to our community here in Huntington Beach. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Scott. Hey, Lane Stone here, standing next to Pat DeRush. We're in the heartbeat of the Donation Center here. And the first question that I want to ask Pat is, how long have you been volunteering for the Assistance League Huntington Beach? And what drew you to want to volunteer? Well, I've been doing this for about five years now. Okay. My older sister drew me here. Okay. <laughs> she, she was a great thrift shop shopper. Absolutely. She became a member and she said, this is, Pat, you've been retired too long, not doing anything. You need to come and get some work. <laughs> okay. And now she's traveling and I'm working. And now you're and we're working, you're managing the place. <laughs> I'm managing the place now. <laughs> so. And what's funny is that there's been over 67,000 hours of volunteered work here. And I think um, we should make it a goal of 100,000 for Wouldn't next year, great? right? We need more members to do that, though. <laughs> so that's what, that's what I was going to ask you. Is there, what's the couple things that you would need the most for the Assistance League Huntington Beach? We need more members, really, more members. truly, because, because it takes so many of us so many hours to make this shop really work. 
and to then be able to do all the philanthropy that we do. So all the members are involved in committees with that too. Absolutely. So it's a lot of hours that we put in and it would be nice to for someone like me to stop doing 100 hours a month and do maybe uh, 30. <laughs> there you go. And, I, and you can tell, but if you can't see in the background behind us, that these ladies are working really hard they for are. us. And, they are. And if you're watching the video right now and you're encouraged to volunteer, please contact the uh, Assistance League Huntington Beach. That would be really, really important. We have lots of opportunities. That Absolutely. Way. And now being in the donation center room here, mm -hmm. what's the process of when somebody drops off a bag of donations, let's say, to maybe it makes the storefront, or where does it end up? What's the process? Well, First, we thank everybody who does donate, and, and we ask people to kind of do a, a little higher end themselves, but then we sort here. Okay. So we have tables that sort, and we decide if it's the quality that we want in our thrift shop, mm -hmm. or maybe it's an even higher quality, maybe it's some name brands that we can sell in our boutique at okay. a special price. And if none of that works for our store, we still want to give out to the community. So we'll take it down and we'll, we'll donate out to other places like the Mission and things. That's so wonderful. Now, a little birdie also told me you guys had a wonderful November. We Can you talk about that a little we bit? We had a fabulous November. We, with eBay and Craigslist and Amazon Books, we sold $70,000 worth wow. of products. Wow. It was a stellar month. And that's stellar. an average of about what per day? $3,100 a, a day. Wow. And 20 years ago, you guys were doing? We were lucky. We were doing $500 Five, a day. Well, 500 to 3100 is huge. It is huge. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Please, uh, as, Diane, uh, sorry, as Pat mentioned, we do need volunteers. We do need uh, you know more donations here. And more, Come and see us. More volunteer hours. That would be amazing. So thanks so much for watching. Hey, Pat, so I know I asked you the question about the process. Can you show me a little bit about the process and what happens? Yes, and luckily we have one of our volunteer members right here. She's, op she's taking a, a bag of goods that have been donated, and she's inspecting it very carefully. We look for stains. We look for holes. We look, we look for quality goods. And there's two levels here. Okay. So there's thrift store level which is very good. It's something, would you wear it? It yes. goes on the thrift store. Then there's a, wow, this is amazing, and it's private label stuff, and that could go to our boutique. And so we'll sort awesome. it over there. Awesome, awesome. If it's, if it's dirty, or if it doesn't pass master, it doesn't go on the floor. And see, this kind of high-level process is a good reason why people should come shop here, because they know that you're going to get quality goods that are thoroughly inspected, and a big reason why you should be a customer here at the Assistance League Huntington Beach. Perfectly said. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. <laughs> I'm back with Chris, and we're now in the boutique section of the shop, which is the high-end section. Upscale, upscale high section. End, right. And I'm eyeing like a set of Spode Christmas china right here that you can't see off camera. That's amazing. I would love to get it for my mom for Christmas. So a quick reminder, it's not too late. This is like a small department store with so many amazing options. Come down here and shop for Christmas if you've got some last-minute gift ideas and avoid the crowds and the hassle at them all. But speaking of that, good the, idea. <laughs> yeah. there's so much that you do. One other program that we had talked about was the veterans. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes. A few years ago, we started giving scholarships to the returning veterans at the police academy. And that was really touching, really touching, because they can't work while they're going to the police academy and it's not okay. cheap. Wow. And then we had extra money because of our shoppers and started expanding to veterans at Golden West. Okay. So th those are two of my favorite things that we're doing. We also s realized that we weren't getting a lot of children from Fountain Valley School District, okay. so we expanded a Links to Learning and we give teachers up to $500 scholarships to use in their classrooms. One of my favorites from that is they have a garden oh, wow. going, and uh, so they're feeding themselves, learning nutrition, and a lot of good things are coming from it. We served over 17,000 wow. children 17, and families in, and adults in our community last year alone. Wow. That's just what I'm learning from Lane's interview with Pat to our interview. You are evolving and you're growing. We are. And you're meeting the needs of the community today, and that's mm -hmm. just so important. And I thank you again for your time today, and we Hope this exposes the Assistance League Huntington Beach and gets people involved. It's a wonderful organization. And thank you for coming here and sharing our story. The Sack and Stone team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube.